You set your mind that when I come to church, I'm going to fight Pastor Richmond. Immediately you enter the church, it is Pastor Richmond, you will, you will be what? You will be looking for, because that is what you set your mind on. Oh, am I talking to children of God? And that day, you may be in church, but you cannot receive anything. Because your mind is not set on who? God. On God. Or you are coming to ch church. See, I'm going to church because my customer says he's going to send money through one of my church members. Through one of my what? And because of that, you are coming to church. When is it time to dance? You are dancing. But you are looking at the gate. Whether that person is, has come in or... No. Am I talking to children of God? Yes. That is why how many of us forfeit our blessing. That is why some people can come to church, but they may not receive. Because what they place in their mind before they enter is not Jesus. That is why I have come to remind you. Set your mind on Jesus. Say, neighbor. Neighbor. Set your mind on Jesus. Set your mind on Jesus. Say, neighbor. Neighbor. Set your mind on who? Jesus. Listen to me. If they are doing fashion parade and they are invited, you are invited to go there. You are not expecting to go there to hear something from the Bible. Yes or no? You are not expecting Asamajan to come and play ball. Yes or no? Immediately you see the model, model, what do you call them? Immediately they are coming. You see some men say, wow. Someone say, wow. wow. Look at shape. Because that is what you have set your mind to go and see at At the stadium and the ladies who they wear what they want people to wear what they want people to wear to see <laughs> have you ever seen a model you go and wear you go and wear what, what do you call it kaba and slit and it should be rolling no they will wear something that when man see it say wow look at baby So you know the reason why you come to church. Be careful your mind. Be careful your what? Be careful. That is the reason why the Bible says many are called but few are what? Many are called but few are what? But when you set your mind on things above. My God. Immediately you get to the cage. You start filling the power of the Holy Ghost in your body. Holy Spirit, moving on, moving on. Make my life all again. Auto, 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 Spirit. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, amen. I want you to bless the Lord. If the Spirit of God is moving you right now. If you want Holy Spirit to move you right now, oh, 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 Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, in the name of the Lord, moving on, moving on, make my life whole, all again, make my life whole again, Spirit for. Look at her. Look at her. Oh, my. Hey, 
Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Moving. Moving on. Moving on. Take my life all again. All again. Spirit. Spirit of God. Over me. Over me, Lord. song but some of us your mind is not in that song the woman focused on the spirit the spirit caught up with her many pray but their mind is not on that prayer their mind is bishop finish quickly somebody is owing me i'm going to collect money but look at her look at her sing i'm about Look at her. Spirit more. Spirit more. Oh, if you do, you set your mind on spirit of God. Holy Spirit will walk in you right now. Spirit. Mommy, begin to set your heart on spirit of God. Come, 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 come. Now, focus on the spirit of God right now. Focus on Jesus. Focus on Jesus. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Focus on Jesus. Look at that. Focus on Jesus. If you two focus on Jesus, look at that, look at that, look at that. Bring her out. Bring her out. Look at that. Set your mind on things above. Look at that. But you, you pray. Your mind is not there. Look at that. Look at Holy Spirit. Moving on, moving on, moving on, moving on. Oh, holy again. Holy again. Holy Spirit, the lady set her mind on you. Walk on her, Jehovah. She can walk to her, oh God. She can have a picker, picker. Take her. Sit down. What you set your mind on. It's what we manifest. It's what you will get. Many come to church, but they afford their husband and their wife from the house. And throughout the service, your mind is not on Jesus. You have come empty. You will go empty until you retune your mind. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit is talking. Say, Holy Spirit is talking. My friend, listen. It's for your good. If you like, get angry. It no concern me. Now your palaver. But if you listen to the word of God and you change, Holy Spirit will bless you today. Come and wave your hand and shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our treasure is laid in heaven. Say, my treasure is laid in heaven. Not on earth. Many of you know where we started this ministry. From Agbogoshi. I mean, from, from, from where? From where? If you know it, say it. From where? From Otobabi. That big warehouse that we use. The owner who built that warehouse did not know we rented the place. His children could not step the place. One of the children is, is your friend. Yes or no? Yes. I spoke to him. He said he cannot step that place. Why? Uncles and cousins, they have taken over. Uncle and what? And these people fear for their lives, so they never step the place. But the man who built the place is dead. That was not the only place he has. Belongs to who? Belongs to who? 
But after he died, everybody started coming from left and right, claiming property. Even when I was there, I had three landlords. I had what? And every time, this one will come and say, don't give money to that one. That one will come and say, don't listen to that one. We spent three, five years there. Through the grace of God, only a church like Awakeness can stand it. Other people came. Some of them are now my friends. Some spent one year. I only spent six months. They ran away. They did what? They ran away. What am I talking about? All what you are setting your mind on. All what you are putting all your energy on. Vanity. Some say vanity. Vanity. I can't hear you. Vanity. I can't hear you. Vanity. Look, the Bible is not saying you should not walk. The Bible is not saying you should not be rich. The Bible is not saying you should not build houses. But when you begin to love those things more than God, when you begin to love your work more than your church, when you begin to love your wife more than your church, I had an appointment with somebody four days ago. We have reached an agreement. Everything we are to do. He has sent his name to me. I'm sure when he got home, he discussed with his wife. And the wife changed his. Meanwhile, he's also full. He's what? And these are spiritual things that will bless his life. Many of us are like that. Let's go to church. Mommy say, oh, I'm not well today. That is it. Nobody is coming. Daddy says, I came back from work so tired. I'm tired. I can't go to church today. Mommy and children will say, before daddy says he's not going, we two, we are not what? You focus your mind on things around you. You are not thinking about God. You are not thinking about the giver of your life, your heart. Everybody breathe in. Everybody breathe in. Breathe out. The gap between life and death is less than a second. And the Jesus we are talking about is the keeper of that life. If you focus on him, he keeps your life safe. If you focus on Jesus, he keeps your life safe. You are not talking. He keeps your life safe. If you focus on Jesus, he will keep you safe. Think about where you are going to spend your eternity. You will die one day. I will die one day. I am not running this church because of today. I'm preparing generations. I am preparing what? If I die today and my wife take over, one day she too will do what? Yeah. And my daughter take over, she too will do what? Yeah. But other generation will continue. That is my focus and that is the mind of God. Am I talking to somebody? Yeah. What do you think about that? You are thinking of today. I have power today. If you have power today, Go and ask something. Say, if you have power today, go and ask something. I can't hear you. Learn from something. Learn from what? Ordinary woman, destroy him. I told you two weeks ago, women, they can destroy and they can do what? God told Samson. He was an anointed man. No razor blade should touch his hair. But she married a wrong woman. She married what? And every time when they were together, tell me the secrets of your power. Tell me what? There's no woman in this house who have never touched the head of their husband. You are learning from that wicked woman. You are learning from that what? 
Because women know when they start touching the head of their husband, their body will become and anything you ask, you do what? You start receiving. That was what that lady did. And Samson began to talk. Uh, you want to know the source of my power? Oh baby, oh baby, you want to know? And I will show you where the power lies. Then the poor and wicked woman, he started looking at the face of Samson and he was doing it more. Say, oh baby. Someone say, oh baby. Oh, baby. Say, oh baby. oh baby. My power is here. If you can cut my hair, all the power is what? Oh. Then lover become hater. Say, lover become hater. Lover, become lover became enemy. Be careful. Say, neighbor, be careful. Neighbor. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit will be talking to you. I want to give an example of somebody. I worked with him for many years in Lagos, a businessman. We sell note country machines. He was one of the first Nigerian who rode four-wheel drive caravan with fridge, everything. First set of first set of Nigerians that ride a car with remote control. With what? With what? But if you know you are not tired and you are sitting down, talk. Unless your mind is focused on that woman you are going to meet and that man you are going to meet and those who are owing you, that is where you are not talking. But if your mind is here, talk. And the man was deceiving us. When it's coming, it will press his remote control. We'll hear, quack, quack, quack. He said, hey, Coyote, my car is greeting you welcome. <laughs> because nobody was using remote control in the early 70s. He was my boss. All the banks in Nigeria were our customers. We were selling load country machines. I will tell you why I left him. When bankers are doing their conferences, he will give me big money. Millions of naira. And he will now ask me to book hotel for him and book for myself. When he now comes, he will ask me, how much do you have your assistance? He said, general manager. So I will be in their meeting. I've seen a lot in life. That is why the experience I have, if I have people who have such experience here, they are no more than two. I have a lot of experience. I will sit with bank directors. It's, what, it's a seminar. Then I will come to you. That is the name of the company. We send little country machine. This is my card. This is my boss card. And this is for you. We are looking for contract. We are looking for what? And I was a spokesperson and a sales manager. He will rent his own hotel. I will rent one. Hallelujah. Amen. I was a little boy in the Salvation Army singing in the choir, boy scout and all that. That is why you should be careful the type of friends you move with. One day, he called me from my room. I knock at his room. I got there. There were two girls. There were what? Girls. One on the right, one on the left. And he was wearing short liquor and the two of them were massaging his what? He was a millionaire. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He will be drinking Irish cream. He said, Coyote. I said, no, sir. Thank you, sir. I will walk out. I will get back to my room. I will not be able to sleep. One, he was oppressing me. One, he was what? Because I am a man too. <laughs> Amen, somebody. Amen. I have seen a lot in life. I want to tell you something today. God had to use people who have not gotten experience in life. I am telling you things today. That is the reason why you claim you know somebody 30 years ago is bad and is now in church and you think God will use that against him. No, it is those type of people God offer what? Because they have had what? Experience. One day, my boss called me. Sir, how much do you still have left? I still have about 2.5 million. Go and bring it. Then he put it under the window. 
under the under the pillow. Later, I realized the two ladies they were friends. They were what? When the first lady came, he said, my friend too is interested. And the two of them, after they did all their stupid things at night, the man slept off. The two of them looked on that watch and took what? And the man woke up so tired. Then he looked under the, he can't find the money. Then he rang me. Now they, they do come here. I said, the door is locked. How can I come here? He said, I can't find the money. These Agaracha girls, they have stolen my money. <laughs> Hallelujah. I stopped working with him because I realized I cannot set my mind on Christ if I should follow this type of, this type of what? This type of people. Vanity of a what? Vanity of a what? He was so rich that but the man was not a cocaine dealer. Because one deal in a bank, the man can make 10 million error. He will, when he get the contract, he go to America and get the manufacturer's thing and do what? May God make you super rich one day in Jesus' name. Amen. I learned something from him. He said, Coyote, do you know one major generation know him? I was his driver. I was his what? He was driving a general. And God raised him up. No matter who you are, God can raise you up one day in Jesus' name. Amen. I said, no matter who you are, God can lift you up one day in Jesus' name. Amen. I said, God will lift you up in the name of Jesus. Amen. I and Madame were talking about Apostle Paul this morning. He was asking me, why did God did not heal him of that pain? And I told her, did you know what Paul did? Sometimes in life, God will make you to remember those bad things you have done. He will put a mark on you. He will put what? His grace is still on you, but he will always make you remember where he has brought you from. Where he has what? Brought you from. So that was the reason why God told Paul, my grace is what? Sufficient. My grace is what? It was not that pain that keep Paul. The pain you are passing through would not kill you in Jesus' name. Amen. I said the pain you are passing through will not kill you. Amen. I said it will not kill you. Amen. It will not kill you. Amen. I said that pain, Amen. that sickness, it will not kill you. The grace of God is upon you. The message of God is upon you. Come and say, yeah. yeah. Say, never. Even set your mind on Jesus. Even set your mind on Jesus. No sickness will kill you. No pain will kill you. Healing from above. Come on, say the man. Say the man again. Why should we set our mind on things above? Every good and perfect gift comes from above. Say every good gift. Every gift. Every good thing. Promotion. Breakthrough. Promotion. Every good thing. Success. Money. Good wife. Good husband, good house, every good thing comes from where? Come from where? I say come from where? That is why you must set your mind on things above. Because every good thing, every perfect thing comes from above. That is why when you need anything, cry to Jesus. And the Bible says, it is not by might, it is not by what? But by what? It is not by might, it is not by power, my spirit, say that. 
Lift up your hand and say, It's not by my. It's not by my. It's not by power. It's not by power. By my spirit, receive the Lord. This mountain, this mountain, this mountain shall be removed in Jesus' name. This mountain, this mountain shall be removed, shall be removed. This mountain. This mountain must be removed. It shall be removed by my, my spirit. The Lord. Say, if I set my mind on things above, everything is possible. Everything is possible. My good house is possible. My new car is possible. Promotion is possible. Breakthrough is possible. Lift up and say, if I set my mind on things above, success is possible. Breakthrough is possible. Healing is possible. Breakthrough is possible. Deliverance is possible. Victory is, is possible. Every good thing is possible. Thing is possible. My enemies shall fail. Say, my enemies shall fail. My enemies shall fail. Because Jesus is my backbone. Jesus is my, backbone. Jesus is my fighter. Jesus is my he fights for me every day. He fights for me every day. When I set my things above. When I set my mind on things above, Jesus become my shield. He protects me. He protects me. He protects me. He surrounds me with fire. His blood cover me. And any enemies shall fail. Jesus, my Father. My father, my father, my father, my father, when I call his name, he answers me at the mention of his name. Every new shall bow, they shall bow, affliction shall bow, sickness shall bow, sickness shall bow, enemy shall bow. Every storm in my life shall bow. Every witches and wizards shall bow. Poverty shall bow. Affliction shall bow. Because I have covered myself in the blood of Jesus. Shall ya? Yes, James 1, verse 17. <laughs> Are you learning something? Continue to come late. James 1, 17. Let me start from 16. Don't be deceived. My dear loved brothers and sisters, every good and every perfect gift is from above. Coming from the Father of light. With him, there is no variation or shadow. So if everything you want comes from him, why can't you focus on him? Listen to me. You focus on me, you miss your way. I am only representing Jesus. You only do what God has asked me to tell you. It is not me you are serving. It is not my wife you are serving. We are just his representatives. But immediately you leave the church, your mind is off. You are a pretender. You are what? But if you know you are serving God, 
What you do in the church, you do it in the market. You do it in Central Troll. You do it in the house. You represent Jesus. You talk about Jesus. You proclaim the work of God in your church because you are called to be a blessing to others. Say amen. Some of will hear you talk and they will hate Jesus. Don't do it. If you set your mind on Jesus, if you are a man, be careful of what you wear. Don't wear seducive dress. Don't wear seducive what? There are certain dresses, it's meant for the house and not for where. And she listened to me. And it is applicable to everybody. It is applicable to what? The moment people start calling your name with Jesus, you have become the mirror. You have become what? Anything you wear, there are people who open their eyes. Don't wear it. Am I talking to somebody?